sort of um, giving that object or that animal some space and controlling themselves. So we just want to keep it really, really simple. Right now, all we're asking her to do is not go after the hand with the food. It's pretty simple and it's very quiet and calm, but that's at this age what she can handle, right? So I'll just show you a little bit about what this exercise can lead to. And of course, it's still going to be, you know, puppy adaptive. So it'll still be uh, kind of basic, but it'll just give you an idea of what you can do with this exercise. So I'm just going to wait for her to look at me a little bit. My cat. Yes. going to go over what you're going to do with your puppy so that when you do it with her you're prepared because if your timing's not right with this one it's going to be really confusing for her so let's say i'm a dog so you have your hand ready with some food but your hand's closed yeah do i okay. hold do i hold the food in the other hand already yeah okay. exactly so you're ready but you're not giving her any chance to be able to lick it or eat it so your dog comes over sniffs your hand licks it tries to get it and then gives you just a little break you say yes and you <laughs> drop some treats. So now I'm going to put my hand on it because she's not trained for this yet, but it's the same game, right? Instead of having the food in your hand, now the food's on the floor. And I'm covering it up because she doesn't know yet what to do when the food is down on the floor. Yes. And I'm just letting her see it when she's doing good. Yes. Oh, and nice. she'll learn this That's a lot faster now. Yeah, she'll learn it a lot faster because she already has the basic of the game with the hand exercise. But it's a lot easier for us to do the first steps with the hand because we have a lot more control over our hand. So now I'm just waiting for her to, yes, to back away, hiding it when she's kind so of... So the point of this would be if they would drop something, she's not just going to push us over and get it. Exactly. So right now we're just, again, making it to her level, right? Where it's like, my hand's right here, it's controlled exercise. But it's just teaching her, yes, at this age, what to do um, when she wants something, which is not to just rush over and get it. It's give it some space, right? Yes. So now I'm not even covering it that much anymore, just once in a while when she has a puppy moment and she just wants what she wants. But she's learning that sh she'll get it if she just gives it some, some room. Yes. And this will stop her from eating food off the table and exactly. counters. And, and if she wants to jump on the counter, all you'll have to do for a little while is sort of put your hand over it. And we can stage that when she's um, when she knows this game better. Then we stage everything so that they know what to do in real life when it happens. Yes. Yes. So see what she did there? She just rested her nose on my hand. She wasn't trying to get the food, but she was crowding me, right? So I didn't give it to her until she actually moved away from my hand. There was nothing wrong with what she did. It was just, you know, what if I try this? <laughs> and it's like, no, nope, still too close, right? Yes. And you have to be quick and you have to have really good timing here because if 
if she steals what I have on the floor, now she's learned that she can do that, right? Already, you've done this in 10 minutes. Yeah, and like, so you really don't want to leave a bad impression by letting her take the food from the floor at this moment. So that's why I'm being really, I'm hovering over the foods to make sure that she's being really successful with this. Yes. Okay, that's the last one. So I'll just make her kind of go get it over here so that she doesn't just go get it from where we just were working. Good job. And then we just have to build on it and make it harder. But obviously this is her very first time so we can't just throw too many things at her. But the end goal of this would be at one point I would drop food off the counter uh, okay. and she wouldn't just rush for it, right? Because she was allowed to learn that she has to give it some space and then she'll get rewarded. So she won't beg, basically. So she, yeah, exactly. 